I'm doing the walking home kind of thing. Uh, I had at 20 after 5, I had a call not far from where I was because I was going to the place where I usually sit and wait. But I got a call just around the corner, so I went and got it. Had this guy who was smoking a cigarette. He was short and fat. And uh, he gave me his address to go to, which is a, a low-income apartment building. And I took him out there, and then his card wouldn't work on the Interact machine. We tried it four times, and every time we tried it, it was declined. So he says, looks like I owe you. Yeah, you do. So I wrote him a card with my phone number on it and my name and car number and how much he owes me. I probably won't see the money, even though he says, I promise I'll pay. Yeah, well, as soon as I cleared the tablet from that one, I got another call, which wasn't that far away. And I knew where the guy was going. He was going in the same direction I was going, because I had picked him up before, and I knew the guy. So I picked him up and took him where he was going. But I had to wait for him. Well, first of all, I got to the door, and then I called him. And he said, oh, I'm at the Tim Hortons, which was across the parking lot from where it said that he was going to be. So I picked him up, took him where he was going. And by the time I dropped him off, it was 6 o'clock. Fortunately, the gas station was not far away. I fueled up. And... Uh, I got out of the gas station at 6.12. It must be 6, uh, 6.15, 6.20, something like that now in the morning. So we still have daylight. It won't be long till there will not be any daylight at this hour. Because the sun hasn't quite come up yet. But we have some daylight. How much money did I make? I don't know. Somewhere in the $300 ballpark. I was busy enough. I had a lot of fares, but they were mostly short ones. And I had to run quite a distance for some of them empty and rushing to get the next one. And naturally, you know the story. We don't have enough drivers. And so it goes. I dropped the car off. Mr. Punctual wasn't there yet. I think he's getting less punctual as time goes on. Now, uh, I'm going to get in my car once I get home. And I'm going to go to the bank to make a deposit. Because I have all my... All the money from last week, all the overs for the Interac, it's about six, seven hundred dollars. Yeah, I want to deposit that. And then there's the earnings from tonight, which was another hundred dollars or so. Cash, that is. The Interacs, well, those will be worried about next week okay i'm almost home four more nights to go this week Five forty-two in the morning and i'm leaving the car wash i had a busy enough night uh, i did 21 trips I've got about $350 on, and I'm tired. What else is new? 
yeah, I'm exhausted. Um, I worked my ass off. And once again, it is because we do not have enough drivers. And so, you know, when I become available, it's sometimes quite a distance to the next call. I had one curious thing happen last night. I was sent on a call. And as I was getting closer to our pickup point, I got um, canceled. So I thought, oh, how curious. I've been canceled. Well, since I was heading in that direction anyway, I proceeded towards the address where that call had originated. For whatever reason, I was compelled to go. So I got there and I got to a red traffic light. So I'm at the red traffic light and there's a guy in one of these bus stop shelters looking at me funny like. And uh, he, he, asked, he told me his name and I said, I don't have the name. I was canceled. I was sent around here, but I was canceled on my way. I said, did you cancel? He said, well, I booked a cab, but I never canceled. Really? Then how come I was canceled when I was a minute away from the call? Makes no sense at all. Sometimes they will cancel a call and send the car on another one if the other one that they're sending them on is closer. But usually they don't, the, the system doesn't cancel you if, if, uh, if the customer doesn't cancel. And the customer did not cancel. Really bizarre the way things are going. Nothing is making sense. Anyways, I worked hard for my money. And now I'm going to deposit some of it in the bank. And after having deposited some of it in the bank, I am going to go fuel up this thing. Oh, yeah, and detail the interior. I just washed it in the rain. Well, it's raining. It's, it's a little rainy out there, but I washed it. I got all the dirt off of it. I got the mats clean. I vacuumed out the carpets, too, because they were full of stuff. So I clean the carpets, clean the mats, wash the exterior of the car, and I'm going to swab the interior, and then fuel it, and then go home, and then go to the chiropractors. I might drive to the chiropractors this morning, just because it's rainy out, and I don't like to be rained on to go to the chiropractors, so I will just drive home. Yeah, what else is there? I really don't know. I'm just too tired to care right now. I wish they would change the retirement age to 60 instead of 65. It would give me a full pension now, and I would just go away. I got together with a friend, an old friend, that I hadn't seen in over 30 years on the weekend. Turns out he lives not far away from me. 20 minute drive. And so I went to visit him. He has a nice house, big house out in the country. He's right next to a municipal park. It's a it's a wooded park. It's all it's all wooded, and he has I think six vehicles that he plays around with. He tinkers on them, and he retired. We studied geology together back at Concordia University in the 1980s. He managed to do something with 
having to do with groundwater and working with engineers. I worked with engineers for a while. I didn't like it. They got big, big heads like this. Big egos. You know, I didn't like working with engineers. They would always rub your nose in it that you're not an engineer like them. Anyhow, whatever. I got together with him and we uh, sort of caught up a little bit on the last 30 years of our lives. It was a good time. Well, I've arrived at the bank, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I've got three more nights to go this week. Uh, the time is now 5.19 in the morning. And I'm... I'm just about done. I don't like doing that call. Anyway, I'm just about done. I'll take this last one, and that will be it. That will be that. It was a slow night for the most part until midnight and then I started getting a few longer trips and it really picked up after three. I mean really picked up. Got really busy taking people to work in the morning and it's uh, made me kind of tired. Anyway, the, the end is almost near. I'll do this one last call if I can find her. She's supposed to be on Pandora. And she's right in the area where all the homeless people are. So that's going to be a joke. Well, I'll go there and see if I can find her. If not, I'll just call a no load and go fuel up and go home. Because I really don't feel like working anymore. You know, when you have a slow, relaxing night and it's going easy and then you start getting rushed. I don't like being rushed. I don't like having no breaks in between. I just dropped a customer off and now I'm on my way to another call. And that's a light turning red, so I'm going to stop. Anyways. Uh, one more call, yeah. One more call. That's going to be it. That's going to be all. Still two more nights to go this week. Okay. It's uh, morning. It's Thursday morning. It is the end of the Wednesday night shift. Uh, just turning around here so I can make it back to town. I'm in the western communities. I'm in Langford. I just dropped off a fare. It was a $35 fare, which I really needed because it was a quieter night tonight. It was nice and relaxing. It uh, didn't have to rush any time. It was just calm and easy going, and um, I still did $270 after adding everything up, which is not all that bad, but it's so much nicer to work that way than to be rushed. For a change, I think we finally have enough drivers on the road or at least we had enough drivers tonight. And that's not so bad. Sometimes it's really good to have a slow one for a change, just to rest up, just so that you're not always just rushing and rushing and rushing and crazy busy. This was all right.
this was agreeable this was my speed and the phone is about to die because I watched a lot of video and why did I watch a lot of video well uh, because I had the time to I had enough time to watch video and I enjoyed that falling asleep to watching video the best Anyways, I gotta concentrate as I'm pulling onto the highway here on my way back into town. Gonna wash the car. Gonna fuel it up. And then I'm gonna go to a dentist appointment. I'm gonna have my teeth cleaned. What's left of them, that is. I worked uh, real hard last night. I uh, was, uh, the first hour was quiet, but then it picked up. It picked up and it was one right after another and I was being sent long distances to take people places. And uh, the trips were mostly short ones before midnight and then after midnight I had a few longer ones. And then I was really busy too, one right after another. And every time I'd get a call, it was uh, far away. And, uh, well, I had a few longer ones in the morning hours, which was, uh, which was a good thing. I had a really curious thing happen when uh, I dropped someone off. It was the pharmacy calling. So I said, okay. Um, and the pharmacist said, well, um, we have four prescriptions for you. I said, oh, good. All right. She says, when are you planning to come and pick them up? And I said, well, what time do you close tonight? Since I wasn't all that far away, I figured, okay, I can go to the pharmacy now, pick up my prescriptions, and that's it. So I got to the pharmacy, and I had to wait because there were people in front of me. But then when I got up to see the pharmacist, she said, I told her who I was and that I was here for, for my prescriptions. And she said, well, they're not ready. I said, well, they're not ready. Then why did you call me? And she said, I called you to make sure that you were aware that you had prescriptions with us. I said, yes, I dropped them off last week. And uh, when I dropped them off, I was asked, when do I need them? I said, a week from now. At six days before. So I said, okay, I, I'm going to come by tomorrow. Are they going to be ready tomorrow? She said, at what time? Oh, I, I said, at about the same time, at around 9.30 or so, or maybe a little earlier. Can you have them ready for me, please? And I wasted my trip going there. It's a new pharmacist. She doesn't know what she's doing. Anyways, uh, what else? Yeah, the morning... I was so tired by 3 o'clock that I had trouble seeing the road again. I was bagged from the rest of the week. I didn't get quite an, uh, as much sleep as I would have liked because I had a doctor's appointment uh, or a chiropractor's appointment on Tuesday. I had a doctor's appointment on Monday, chiropractor on Tuesday. Wednesday, I had nothing. Thursday morning, that was yesterday morning, I had uh, an appointment for cleaning my teeth. Uh, as you can see, I, I have fewer and fewer of them. And you would think that the cost would be going down. But no, the cost goes up. It costs more every time I go in to have my teeth cleaned. It's only incremental. It's like just a few dollars more. But it's always a few dollars more. And I have fewer teeth than I had before. Figure that one out. Um, yeah, so I was getting really sleepy and I'd get a call, and I'd do the call, and then I'd fall asleep again in the parking lot, and then I'd get another call, and then I'd fall asleep again in the parking lot, and this happened repeatedly. So this is why I am uh, recording this segment from home, because I was busy sleeping, and then at 10 minutes to 6, I woke up, and it's like, okay, take myself off the board, fuel up, and park it. And then I walked home. 
And while I was walking home and while I was at home already, I was talking to my mother on the phone. And uh, now I hung up with my mother and I'm going to have my breakfast. Hope yours is better than mine. <laughs>